Yeah, we will. This way, and we're, this but, we, but we still have 151 feet from the setback. Yeah. So it's 251 feet from the wetland. And then. Uh, <coughs> So they, we had uh, Jacob is what Bell, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's a, the soil scientist for NRCS. Anna Hanneberg was a civil engineer that came out. Jim was another civil engineer. Chris, another civil engineer. The state archeologist came out because when we dug the test pits, they were also looking for bones and arrowheads. And then we had the soil conservationists come out, Lori, and another soil conservationist come out, Dave. So we had seven people doing these test pits. It got pretty involved, and they were there for a little over five hours looking at the pits. And these are the test pits that they have. This shows you the same thing as that. These are the lines that they had. So it just, it makes it basically clear for when we do expand the cow pop building, if we ever do that, then that also will be in the map and is shown. Some place I had a, I thought I had a picture of the whole crew. They, they, they really went to contortions to make this all work. Um, we, yeah, so here's the test pit results, and they did a scale of 1 to 1,800. And again, it says what I said before, they're uh, well-drained soils. So, any other student members have any questions or concerns with Mr. Fern's uh, not even application? Do you think he needs an application? Being outside the upper review setback? He's 150 feet out of the, away from the setback, so. And once again, I'll ask you state there'll be no activity inside the hurricane camp. No. How no. Right now? The only thing that we will do is because uh, NRCS suggests that we will put up a silk fence. Absolutely. Yeah. Standard construction. Right. So, do you all feel that he needs a permit? He's not in the wetlands or the regulated area. We really don't have any right. jurisdiction over it. Thank you, Mr. Freund. You don't need a so just, uh, I will, uh, NRCS is going to want a copy of the minutes stating that we what we just said. Right. You, have, you have access to those. Yep. Um, I'm going to, as my chairman, hand chair back to the actual chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. So, um, other things that, New, uh, as far as mail coming in, we did finally get, and I've actually had this for, actually I might have had this last month, I didn't remember it, but um, this is the, especially minerals, um, they're supposed to do the pHs and everything, so this See, is they actually the clean that out. Huh? They actually cleaned that stream out again. Oh, did they? Yeah. They're, 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 I, I mm. see a concern about it. Yeah, it was definitely maintained so, recently. Mm -hmm. it's Much good. more so in the last few years than when yeah, we since we've been there and started the whole thing, yeah. I do it three times a year. Oh, you do it? I do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, I see an effort. Yeah. So they, uh, if anybody wants to look through these, it, it is the soil, or the, um, all of the um, data that they collected over the year, and it's, if you want to take a look. But they are doing what they said they would do and they're reporting it every year. Yep. How often did you say you clean it? Three, three times, three to four times a year, depending on how, so I put it in check dams so the water, you know, can filtrate through it. And uh, those check dams get built up a little quicker. I replace the check dams once a year and then I uh, clean it three to four times a year, depending on how, how well it goes. And then on the uphill side of the dam, I clean that that out so you know so it doesn't you don't get that big build up remember it was actually breaching the dam a few years back we've got it so it's actually going through the pipes now and doing what it's supposed to be doing so it's pretty good yeah they got a new guy involved 
in the quarry. Um, Chris is his name, Chris Monica, uh, and uh, he he kind of set up like a week, like a yearly schedule of maintenance that they want done. So they they are really making an effort to try and come into compliance. When we did our walk through, just the, the pipe came fifteen feet out of the pipe and disappeared. Yeah. From the exclusion ditch, it was supposed to be dug all the way around the building. Yep. Yeah. Any other thing on specials? Uh, I did also get a notification of timber harvest on um, 101, oh no, that's the, uh, on 141 King Valley Road, Sherry and Gregory Lloyd. So I'm not sure that we've ever required this, but. I think we require notification of timber harvest. We do? Yeah. We, we, we've been, we, gone through some of them in the past. So, so you have to have a permit to harvest timber? I do not believe the state of Connecticut requires a harvest permit. Uh, Massachusetts, I know their DEP requires a harvest permit, reclamation plans. Uh, they require a lot. We, I'm, not a, I'm not a forester, but I don't think the state of Connecticut does. Well, this is the first time we've gotten one of these no. that I recall. We went through it when they harvested timber at the Limestone Trout Club. We went through we it. We got a permit from them? Well, we got a notification. Okay. Well, so that's what 141 they did here. Um, Cane Valley. Is it in a wetland or in a real wetland? Well, generally, there's usually some wetlands on there, as long as they do best practices. And I think 141 is the actual address of okay. Carlwood. Is that who it is? Is that who it is? Yeah, is it Greg and Sherry <coughs> bought that place. Oh, this is up at the car with the barn. So I don't know where the actual logging is going to be, where it says. Uh, property, it says it's going to be. I almost thought it was the swamp in between White Carl Trees and. Uh, Dougie's got that big field out behind the farm, and there's the block of woods between him and. Like Ron Carlson's property, I think it's in that. It's, uh, I think. They're going to do 175,000 board feet, according to them, and it doesn't say. I'm not exactly sure what where they're going to do it. it. Doesn't. It's on there, uh, on the farm. There's no maps or anything. It's not going to be in the field. Yeah. No. So, you know, the forest land I see is here, <coughs> which is actually yeah, which is that land there. Which is that block I was talking about. That's that big swamp. So, it could be along here. You know. Well, I, at that point in time. Wetlands are flagged with blue ribbon. No equipment operation within the wetlands buffer. No equipment operation within the wetland buffer. Main skid road is existing wood road, which is already there, which avoids the wetlands. Log trucks will enter and exit the log there is there, over driveway, which, is which currently the serves. Line, which is this. So it's the, the logging road which serves uh, 12, 16, and 20 Carlson Road. So they're coming in. Carlson Road is right here somehow, but they there's no way to access that piece of land without going through there. It's here, right there. So what's his address? Down in Peter River, the cemetery, right? Well, it says 2016 and 20. 12, 16, and 20 Carlson. Pan up the little hill. That's, um, Peters is there? No, I'm going to say Peters is there. Okay. The cemetery so Peters. And then that would be Pam's. Mm -hmm. This would be Old Lake Snow. So it's all right here behind So it's there. actually behind here. What is their access from? Well, it's got to be this. No, I wanted to say that they're, they're accessing from 12, 16, and 20. Carlson. So I wonder if it's the Massachusetts line right So they're probably using that road right there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Move your finger. Yep. They're going to come in and go behind Brian's side. So. So they're out there. That's Pam's pasture, basically. Yeah. So 
They're out, they're out here behind. This is supposed to be LUSP. LUSP, yeah. So they're actually coming this way. Yeah, I didn't know that these went that far back, but. I didn't either. Because that's where that garage is. Over there. Over here. It must be on that parcel right there. Mm -hmm. It's got to be this block of wood right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's on. <coughs> yeah, that's a, it, so they're, yeah, so they're that's over here. here. They're, yep. This portion over here. Oh. That up in here? That is over in here. Outside of what we're there. Yeah, right in there. All right. I don't think they notified us. Yeah. Uh, uh, timber harvest, they all want to harvest in the middle of winter. For right. one, easier going through the woods. And number two, your saps are mainly down out of your tree that the timber's working on. Okay. And when you harvest it, it's not gonna you harvest it laid down. Right, right. And shipping it's not gonna all check drying out. Right. If the ground's frozen, they don't have, they're not mud they're up to their not, axles. Mud up to their axles and they're lessening their impact mm -hmm. on the event. It's been a tough year and, <laughs> Getting money again. <laughs> yeah, but, um, any other discussions on this harvest? I don't see any reason to hold it up. Um, the other thing that's occurred in my head, uh, there was uh, some concern about uh, the billing what? that's going on uh, on Old Turnpike. Is it Old Turnpike North that goes past your place mm -hmm. towards George Russell's? Yes. So there's some housing that's going on up there, and they're doing subdivision some subdivision of a portion of property that was subdivided into eight plus acre parcels. Right. How many pieces? On top of that. I think there's three. Three right? So I think it was almost 30 acres that was subdivided. But they're cutting some trees to, uh, I guess, put in some lawn, which is not an uh, activity that's not permittable. So it's a permitted activity and they're not doing any um, they're not doing any construction they're not doing anything within a couple hundred feet of wetlands but the neighbor is worried because of the elevations of where the trees are it's the same elevation as his well I guess where his well is so we just because it's the same you know when you look at a crop map and it's the same on the same elevation. I said I would let the commission know that this is a concern and as far as I know there's nothing that we as a commission can do uh, because they aren't in the wetlands. They're not doing anything in the wetlands. Tartary Health and the State Health Department puts regulations how close you are receptive to any even a budding wells. Yeah, but they're, they're not doing that. So they haven't come for any permits from us or anything else. It's just this neighbor is watching some trees get cut and he's concerned. Well, there's already a house down there. Another one started, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The driveway, all gone through the building department. Um, <coughs> doesn't seem like a wetland concern that we really don't have any jurisdiction over. I don't, I don't feel we do. That's, that's, but that's another thing. There was a subdivision and we didn't do a permit for it. <laughs> when was that? When was that subdivision done? Had to be. Oh. <laughs> Do you know when that subdivision was put together? I read it the other day on some paperwork, but I don't remember. It was a while back. My head. It was a while back, but I don't remember what the top of my head. I did read it. Yeah. Because I did get some paperwork come in, and I fired it back because it was incomplete. And in that, I read something about what it was done. At this point, I'm not sure that we want to stir that pot too much, but I, I just want the commission to be aware that there's <coughs> just concerns. And I, I did tell them that I did not think that there was anything that we as a wetlands commission could do, just exactly what you all said. It's, it's a permitted uh, activity, and they can do that. 
Mm -hmm. They can cut trees, they can cut a few trees down. And they haven't been into the wetlands with any equipment as far as I could tell. So I just thought I would bring it up. Are there any other communications or business? Um, I got this one sign off from that George makes a copy of everything. I think that it was probably just a uh, not applicable. Right. I don't know if you remember that. This is the one you were telling me about, right? That uh, on 25 Moses Mead? Because I didn't, I didn't sign it. Oh, uh, that's the one I called you about. Right. Yeah. So that it's not have any, it really has no No. No, just because it's on my form and stuff, I gave you a copy of it. Right. So, um, I, did, I did sign off on one of those three parcels for the construction, but again, he's over 200 foot from any weapons. Any, anything else to be brought up? Motion would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion that passes. Meetings adjourned at 740.